name is Eileen Briggs and I am the Executive Director for the Shine River Sioux Tribes project called Tribal Ventures here on the Shine River Indian Reservation in Eagle Butte, South Dakota. I met most of the students from the field school at Colorado State University through Dr. Kathy Pickering who um, has been a consultant and a helper to us at our Tribal Ventures project back for about 10 years now. Uh, I met most of the students probably in 2008, roughly around that time, and uh, she would come to do work with us primarily in the summer here on Shine River, and she would bring students with her. I didn't know they were in field school at the time, but you know, later on I found out they <laughs> were all part of the field school. A couple of ways uh, we uh, saw students participate in some of the meetings that we'd have with our community members and they would help to do some uh, surveying or take notes at the meetings. They would also help to summarize some of the comments that would come uh, from the meetings. Uh, later on as we move forward with other projects, students helped us to help to design surveys, they helped us to uh, do training for uh, our research associates here in uh, survey methods. Uh, the surveys um, so that we did on the reservation, they helped us to uh, design the protocol, helped us to give a perspective on uh, our, our survey opportunities and expand them. So there's just a number of parts of our research project that we took on here at Tribal Ventures that the students have all helped us with. So there's a number of things that they helped us with and it was, it's been really fun. Well, there's a couple ways that I'm really excited about for Tribal Ventures um, partnering with the field school students and that is we have con taken on a huge research project on our reservation and last over the last 18 months or so we have done a reservation-wide household survey and so we have a great deal of data. We've surveyed 843 households on the reservation and uh, it was a quite lengthy survey so we are, have like a treasure trove of uh, data that would make any field research student excited about, I'm sure. <laughs> but what we're excited about is that we know what we need to um, have happen with that data and how we want to further analyze it or how we want to basically um, do uh, additional surveys for this research project. And I think that where we, we really hope to use the field um, students is to help us to look at uh, designing these additional um, surveys, also helping us to analyze the data that we have, kind of um, do some of the number crunching, uh, do also some of the analysis, um, some comments around analysis in partnership with us because it's really in our best interest on Cheyenne River and for the places that the field students are going that the local people have um, developed the capacity and the ownership of the research and the data that we're collecting or, or is being put together and that's our purpose at Tribal Ventures is to help build our own capacity to uh, create positive changes for our communities and so field students coming to Cheyenne River will have the opportunity to be a part of that larger change movement and positive uh, a positive future for our communities and and we need all the helpers we can get we know what we want to do we know um, exactly uh, how to access our community members and to get the information. We need helpers to help us sort of basically use all of that information and have it be a usable form for all of us. So I really think that's a great place for our field students to sort of get their roller sleeves up and get some practical experience. I think a couple suggestions I would um, give to students, particularly coming um, to Indian Reservation, um, our reservation in particular, is, is really just suggestion is that to really be willing to open their mind and to really learn a new uh, world right here in this country, uh, that uh, there's a whole nother reality of life and existence and a beautiful way of life and a beautiful part of the country to experience and I really think it's a great opportunity. So my suggestion would be to take advantage of this to expand your um, world to expand your knowledge of really a, a very rich um, and vibrant culture, but also to understand the challenges that are facing communities, um, particularly communities of color um, in, this, in this nation, um, because any work that you're going to be doing in the future 
um, your knowledge and, and real life experience with um, communities of color is going to definitely benefit you for any future work that you want to do. So, and, and frankly, I think working with Indian people um, is mutual. Of course, we're going to be getting some help from you, but I think it's really sometimes there's a lot that you get out of that that I can't even name because I don't know your experience. But you know, we have a lot to offer. And I think when people come to Indian country and they come to work in our communities, they realize the level of strength and resiliency that we have and the daunting tasks in front of us given our environment and the circumstances that we're dealing with. And I really think that that's the kind of lessons you're never going to learn in a book, you know, and you're going to get some first-hand experiences with people who are dealing with um, a lot of challenges that maybe you've never known much about, and this is a chance to get up close and personal to that in a way that's helpful and not in just a um, tourist way. Well, I just think generally as a, have uh, been a student at one time in my life, <laughs> that I think that student experiences that give you real life practical experience on the ground is, a, is very um, positive and frankly you know in order to really figure out sometimes what you want to do in your life you need to go experience a world that's not like yours so that you can really figure out what your direction is and I think that that's what a field school can give you and I don't know a lot about you know Colorado State University and the you know opportunities that you have there but I think it's a rare thing to get to have this opportunity and I know a lot of um, people would be very um, surprised um, to see this opportunity to come and maybe something, why would you pass that up? You know, so I really think that it's an opportunity for you and I encourage you to take it.